Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. In this video, we are going to see an option how to import an application which is showing in SAP UFA demo kit. So far in the videos, we have uh, get some reference from demo kit, maybe in the code level or just display a component, screen component at a table or input box. Just we copied a uh, particular um, code from a view file or sometimes manifest job JSON. So those things we have done and we have an option to upload an entire application to our workspace. And after that, you can execute it. You can change and you can see how the things are getting reflected in the output file or in the output application. Okay, so that is the way which we are going to do on this video. Let's see how to do that. So initially, we'll start with a very simple application which doesn't have much complexities or there is no uh, buttons involved. Because we are in the transition uh, period from ABAP to UI5, so um, sometimes we are getting some error. I have uh, faced many issues while getting a complex uh, application, trying to upload it in my workspace. So uh, to execute ex especially. Uh, saying hey, this file is missing. So we need to understand or we need to dig more to uh, correct those uh, file, correct those uh, issues to make the application run successfully in our workspace. To do that, better we start with a very simple application. So try to achieve this process, download it and upload it in your workspace, do some changes and make sure it is working as expected. If it is fine, then we'll move on to the next level or complexity of the applications for the same process, download and upload. Okay. And this is the application which we are going to do as an info label. It will give a label with different color. So nothing much. So this application has two um, major major file. So one is view, another one is manifest.json. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to download the entire application along with these files plus some support files also. Only this file is not enough to run an application, right? So that will uh, download the entire file and we are going to upload it in our workspace. And the steps to perform this is create an empty folder. So get into the BTP trial account and uh, open your BAS and then create an empty folder and uh, upload the zipped folder from the local device. So before this step, you have to go to the SAP UFA demo kit upload, uh, sorry, download the entire application. So while downloading, it download as a, as a zip file. Okay. So then you have to upload it in your, under the empty folder. Then, as we are in the BAS environment, so we are not able to unzip what normally we do. Like right click and unzip the folders. No, it's not able to possible. So what you have to do is, you have to open a terminal where we can write the code. It looks like our command prompt. Um, normally we do how to create a folder, um, read the files, very uh, very small functions we might use in the command prompt CMD, right? The same way we have to use the terminals over here. So open the terminal, there is a command which unzip the folder. So the command is unzip and the folder name along with the extension dot zip and iPhone D is a destination folder where you want to keep all the unzip files and give any name. This name, this folder is not necessary to create already. Probably you can give a name, it automatically creates. It automatically creates. Okay. So this is the way we have to do it. So once it is unzipped, so okay, once it is unzipped, so the next uh, step would be just go through the files, whatever we have already. Then one, whenever there is an application is imported that needs some support files to run the application. For that, there is a, a terminal command is nothing but npm install. So this is a very famous or frequently used command. So going forward, we are used in many places. So there's nothing but npm install. Whenever you have to upload a folder or upload a project to your workspace, you have to use it npm install. And then once it is done successfully, then run the Again, that same terminal, run it by UI5 serve. If you want to run your application, use a command UI5 serve. Okay. And the between there is a one more statement. So what happened is maybe it may uh, happen to you uh, in your BAS trial account the first time. So when, once I run this UI5 serve, it give an error. UI5 is not recognized, not a command kind of an issue. So I found in one of the solution is 
uh, run this command before using UIFA. So first time is a one time activity, I believe. So npm install iPhone double iPhone global at UIFI slash CLI. Okay. Once you run it, then it recognizes what is UIFI so Okay. Then once you run it, it automatically open uh, your output or application in the new window. Then from you can you can see what is the output. So after that, come back to your bash, same project, modify it and see how it reflects in your output also. Okay. So these are the steps which we are going to perform for this process: download and upload an application. Okay. Let's get into the system. So this is my bass account and this is the sample which we are going to upload it okay it's an info label and first create a uh, folder here empty folder any name you can give info label okay. enter so it's empty now now i want to download it okay so see the code it's actually here So that is a code and okay, one minute, I'll show you this way. Okay. So this is the first once you select info and info label, it will come in the, this format, this page. And here you have option called show source code. And there is an option called download. Just click it. It will download all the files. Sometimes you'll get a option called download all files. Yes, download all files. And this is the one which downloaded. Okay. Uh, you can keep the same name or you can rename it okay it's up to you so both works okay so um just uh, you know where it is gets downloaded the specific folder right so it's downloaded successfully as a zip file now go to um the bash right click upload so this will open a normal um window where you can able to find and find the files or folders right so once you click upload it will go to there and wherever it is get downloaded use that uh, link or the path just get the file inside okay so i'm not i'm not going to show that option that particular window um so what i'm going to do is click upload it will given window i'm going to select it then i will show you how it's reflect in your bass account yeah so here so info label that folder is added is a zip file. So if you click, it will show I mean, file is not displayed because it is in binary or unsupported text encoding. It's fine. We are not we don't want to open this now, right? So we are going to unzip it. To unzip, we need a terminal, it means the command prompt to write the code. So go here, there is an option called terminal, new terminal. Okay. And here make sure your control normally uh, if you want to read a file make sure you control inside the folder then only you're able to read the file in the relevant folder whichever folder you want so currently we are not in the relevant folder currently we are in the projects folder now i want to keep the cursor inside my info label so the command is cd info label so now the cursor is in inside the folder so here i can use an option called code call unzip and you don't worry uh, to type the entire thing without any uh, because there is a space right without any spelling mistake so what you can do is type sap dot tab so once you click tab automatically it recognize the folder name and automatically comes here okay along with the space whatever uh, it's is over there right you can rename it so then iphone d and my info so just give uh, any folder name where all the unzipped files are going to place it enter so things are fine and you you can see another folder inside the info label my info open it so basic uh, folder you are able to see web info these are the two files which we have seen right manifest and view along with that other index and component files also downloaded in your uh, folder and we have we have uploaded successfully so now what i going to do is this is not required so i'm going to delete it permanently yes okay so almost we are done so we have some issues let's see okay and now you can see view there is one issue that's the reason you are getting this color and there's one issue over here just click and where you can see the uh, option tab called problems and here un unknown or sorry unknown attribute key icon so it, it usually happens it depends on because of the version it used to happens just select it comes here so for our uh, practice this is not a big deal it means we don't want this right it's not a function or something some icon is not recognized i can understand 
So delete it. So this is not required for this process. So we are good enough now to go. So now what I have to do is I want to make this uh, folder is available for execution, right? So go to terminal again and make sure you are inside the my info because your web app and everything is inside the my info folder. So cd my info. And here we have to run the statement npm install. Okay. This will keep uh, your application ready to execute npm install and enter. It might take few seconds and at the end you have seen some information about it. So added this much package, audited and everything is fine. So font zero or at least we come to know, okay, we are good enough to move forward. So the next step is I want to execute my application. Okay. So you can see after npm install, you can see these are added actually package dot lock JSON, package dot JSON, node model. These are, I believe these are uh, added after running npm install uh, command. Okay. So now I'm going to write UI file. So to execute my application. So it's starting. Okay. So it shows, okay, you want to open a, a new tab? Yes. Just open in a new tab. So if it is not, what happens? If you can see UI UIFI is not recognized or not a command, then whatever command I have shown in the PPT, just try with that. Okay. So go here, it's opened and there is an option called index.htm. So if you click view, it, it shows actually in an XML format, but I want to execute my application. So I'll use index.html file. Initially, the first time it might take a few minutes or seconds. Sometimes you might get a pop-up. Do you want to wait or close this page? Unresponsive pop-up. It's fine. Just wait for a few things. So you'll get it. So I want to wait. Not all the time, just for the first time because it has to load it, all the libraries. So let's see, it's getting, okay. Yep, here you go. So this is the output, okay. So now this application is in your workspace. So whatever you want to change, you can change it. Simple changes and at least make sure it is happening over there. So I am in the view. So what is that one? So number is two, a different color, right? Background color. So where it is, the text is, I can say 21 and color schema is going to be whatever it is, one, three, four, five. Okay, I'll go with five. Okay, that's it. Go here, refresh. If it changes, yes, the changes are reflecting from our workspace, then you can start working on it. So slowly you can add something in your manifest, slowly you can add something in the controller.js file or formatter. So going forward, we try to upload um, some more medium and then high complex applications and try to execute from our workspace with our own changes. Sometimes this will help, suppose the requirement is very close to the uh, UFA demo kit. So you can get it and you can change based on your own requirement. So now it got changed from 22 to 21 and probably it was with the orange color. I'm not good with that colors and um, now it's purple, I believe. Okay. So this way it works and um, hope this might be useful. So try some um, download upload option with uh, SAP uh, demo get applications and do some changes in your workspace. Let's see how it works. Okay. And go through this. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.